hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know um groups okay so in this lesson we'll just go through what we call the um group of integer modulo n okay we know um what a modulo table or modulo means i mean modulo arithmetic okay so with this idea of modulo some of the um how do you call it some groups some special groups are being formed using the idea of modular arithmetic okay all right so let's stay tuned for um this lesson okay so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support the channel as well okay all right let's start so um with the group of integer modulo n which is which we call zn okay I've already underlined it here. It is in the this one Zn. The integers modulo n form a group under addition in modulo n. So here, if we are talking about a group, you know that it should be consistent of a set with some defined operation. Okay, and this operation here is what addition. We are saying that it should be addition, and with the addition, this addition um how do i call it? It, it 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 involves addition and then it should be a modulo okay so the idea here in modulo so all the assumes here for a group is satisfied here okay can you bear with me because i had a problem that is why i was slowing like that all right so let's start and pick an example and see so um consider z5 under addition when you want to consider z5 under addition okay i have it here z500 addition then this is how it looks like okay i know you know you have you no know, just some small ideas on modular arithmetic so that you'll be able to catch up with me okay um, so let's let's pick another color to draw the remaining columns okay all right I think um I have to get five columns, right? One, two, three, four. Then I think there's a fifth one. Okay. This one will be okay. Alright. So if you remember in our previous lesson we said that Z N, okay, when you have let's say Z N, Z five like this, the set inside is zero, one, two three and four okay we said you get five this zn is what here n is five so we are dealing with five it means you get n number of elements in the set okay so let's try to consider z5 under addition okay for like that so i have um let me draw other columns as well sorry this is rows rather okay two i think i have to close it small okay sorry so i have this and i have that i think this will be okay so i have sorry i have zero here one two three and four okay so now with this we can simply define our operation here and now start writing them okay so zero plus zero is zero that is in modulo five is zero like that okay so everything you do you calculate it in modulo five okay one two three four so two one plus two is three in modulo five is still three have four this is zero one plus four is zero sorry five but in modulo five is what zero okay so like that four zero one okay have four zero one two and also have zero one two three okay so this is now you could see that all of the elements here in um this group group table which is the z5 so this is z5 under addition okay 
that is what we've done here and with this all the elements here have they have um ident uh, sorry inverses because there's an identity for this and that is zero the identity here is what zero because when you add zero to any of the elements you get an element back and now when you go to zero the the inverse for zero is still zero and go to one okay it inverse is four because when you add four to one you get the identity element back which is zero when you go to four two you can see that um it inverse is also one for it inverse is also one which also gives the same idea about inverses okay now you can see that this is an abelian group because um a plus b in all of the cases is the same as b plus a in the sense that if i have one plus two is three and i go to three plus sorry one one plus two is three two plus one is also three okay so it means commutativity works here all of them four plus three is two three plus four is also two okay this one so abelian is also accepted here so this group is what you call the um, integer the group of integer modulo n under addition now let's consider the modulo the integers modulo n under multiplication and c and then finalize if you can say the modulo um, n or the integers modulo n under multiplication is either a group or not okay so if you just go ahead and try with that but then before that I already have something here that I've said that the integers modulo n under multiplication does not actually form a group as some elements has no inverse. Some of the elements do not have inverses. Now let's go ahead and then take an example and show that indeed what we are saying is true. Okay. So now with this, let's say I have this three column here. Okay. Sorry. With a Z3 under multiplication okay i have this now with this I have multiplication i have zero one two zero one two like that okay when i multiply then zero times zero is zero 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 like that one times one two two one two then two two four in modulo three is one okay so now you could see that fine it, it seems the element that when you multiply any number to you get a number back is one okay so you see that identity element here is identity here is what one okay fine so let's consider which number should i multiply to zero to get one when you look at or when you look through the zero row there's no such number because all the answers there is zero and then when you come here to is zero so this reason why the, the the main reason why the multiplication table okay for um, integer modulo n is not group is that there's no element or there's no inverse for the element zero okay there's no element for that or you can see that some of the elements they don't have inverses okay so now how can we force the multiplication operation on the integer modulo n to get or for us to get a group okay how can we do that now let's call let's consider what we call them um, the group of units of z n which is u n now let's let me try to explain things here it is the group that consists of the set of so here it is a special group it's a group that consists of the set of all the case okay all k's belonging to zn so it means we'll talk about the set of the modulo that we are dealing with then in so doing we'll pick some of the sets okay such that gcd the gcd here it means the greatest common divisor okay the greatest common divisor between k so this k is an element that belongs to zn already okay so k belongs to zn but then the gcd between k and the small n okay this n that we are talking about is actually the gcd between them is actually equal to one then those sets when we pick them those elements from z and when we pick them and put them in a one set they are the ones that are called the units of z n and this will form a group under operation of multiplication okay so without spending much time let's talk about this let's 
take z8 as an example okay so with z8 a set is given as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so now you go to which elements do have um, gcd would when you compare the elements here the elements here that when you take them and eight okay there's a small n and these are the case we are talking about these are all the elements we are talking about so we are coming to select some of the elements that has a gcd of one when you compare them with eight okay all right so now let's pick zero zero the gcd between zero and eight you don't know okay you don't know so zero is not part when you pick one and eight pick this one each gcd between eight and one is one when you pick two and eight the gcd greatest common divisor is actually two and that is wrong that two means two is not part because we want a gcd that will give us one okay you pick three and eight indeed the gcd between them is three okay when we pick four and eight the gcd there is four so it means four is not part. When you pick five and eight five is part like i'm doing so six is also not part because their gcd is two and then seven is also part so it means that u8 okay that is the unit in z8 u8 is actually given as one three five seven and then we form a table of multiplication for this and we will check if it is this is a group okay so with a table you have this and we have four elements okay so one two three three four okay and we have this one two three and the last one which is four okay so now with this we are saying multiplication under u8 okay so the u8 i've already explained that they are the elements in z8 which has you know greatest common divisor when you compare them with eight we'll get one okay all right so I have one three five seven all right so with this when you multiply it i have one three five seven again three five seven three three nine okay so three three nine is in modulo eight is one three five fifteen in modulo eight is seven three seven twenty one in modulo eight is what three seven how do you call it three seven twenty one modulo eight is five rather okay so five three fifteen like that seven five five twenty five and i have one i have three here seven three twenty one so i have five seven five thirty five modulo eight i have three seven seven forty nine modulo eight i have one okay i hope this is cool all right so now let's consider this when you look through this you can see that the identity element here id is actually one because when you multiply all the elements by one you get the element back and when you look through all the rows you can see that for all the elements you have their respective inverses okay so this is what we call the um how do you call it um the unit group of units okay u something un and the setting modulo zn okay so we should know that every multiplication you do in zn or un is actually done under modulo n okay so here in this case we are doing it under modulo hot modulo 8 okay all right so if you want to extract a group of multiplication okay a group which will be under multiplication from modulo table then you have to use the operation multiplication and then like i said you want to do it by multiplication and then we have to extract the units units from and i've shown you how to find the units okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed see you next time